This is section 1.6, and we're going to be talking about classifying polygons. It's a little bit of a departure from all the angle stuff and segment stuff we've been doing, um, but it covers a lot of the basic vocab that we're going to be using in the rest of the book. So that's why they kind of throw it into chapter 1. So by the end of this section, you should be able to classify polygons, and that means name them, identify them, talk about them. So the first thing we want to talk about is what a polygon is. It's a closed plane figure. That just means it's not three-dimensional. And it has to be closed, so I can't have an open side. i got to close it off. Then it's a polygon, okay? Um, hold on while I grab something, because I forgot something that I wanted to look at. Okay, so when you are talking about a polygon, you want to talk about how it is, um, what I just said, closed plane figure. It's formed by three or more sides, so three plus sides. Um, can't have anything left, less than three, because if you had two, you wouldn't be able to close it off and have it be a shape. Okay, so it's got to be three or more sides. Each side intersects two other sides. Okay, so every side that you have intersects two others. Um, the points where they meet, those are called vertexes, and that we talked about in terms of angles. So this is also an angle that we'll be talking about, and this is the vertex. So each endpoint is called a vertex. And polygons are named, this is where we're naming, like naming angles and naming segments, by using the vertices in order. So what we're going to do is just throw some letters on here. And Q. It doesn't matter where you start, and it doesn't matter in what direction you go, but you have to go in order. So if you want to start with K, then this would be polygon K, and I'm going to go counterclockwise. So K-E-D-A-Q-L. You could have decided to go the other way, so you would have had K, L, Q, A, D, E. Doesn't matter where you start, because it started with Q, just as long as you go around the circle and you don't skip anybody. What you can't do is go D, Q, E, A, K, L. You can't skip all around, just go straight in a circle. And straight in a circle doesn't even make sense, but you know what I mean. Convex polygons. Convex polygons are, I'm um, sorry, let me start with concave, because that's the easy one to explain. Concave polygons kind of have a cave to them. They have a dent or a cave into the shape, and that's what makes them concave. That's the easier one for kids to get. Convex just means everything is pushed out. That's the easiest way I have to explain it. There's no caves. Everything is pushed out. There's no space um, that's created, so it's kind of like the shape pushed itself out. <clears throat> There's a bunch of different polygons that we have, and I think you know most of these names. If it has three sides, it's called a triangle. Four sides is called a quadrilateral. Five sides is called a pentagon. Six sides, hexagon. Seven sides is called a heptagon. Eight sides, octagon. Nine sides is called a nonagon. Ten is a decagon. 12, just because I like it, it's called a dodecagon. And instead of always having to look up names for all of these, if we wanted to talk about a 13-sided figure, I don't want to have to go to Google, figure out what it is, and then call it by that name. We can just use N. So if this is 13 sides or 14 sides or 20 sides, we can just say it's an N-gon. So if on the test you can't remember what 8 sides, what the word is, you can just say that's also an 8-gon. And that's a completely legit way to answer the question. So no matter how many number of sides it has, you can just say it's an N gone, okay? A couple more terms that we're going to be using quite a bit in this book. One is equilateral. It means that all the sides are equal. I should have put an all there. All equal sides. And the way that you would mark that is by putting tick marks. So you would show me that all of the sides are equal. Equal angular means that all angles are equal. And by doing these little arcs, you would be telling everybody that the angles are all the same measure. Regular means it's equilateral and equal angular. Everything is equal. Equal lat e a l and equal angular. So everything's equal. All the sides, all the angles are equal. And then how do you mark this? We already talked about that. So a table is shaped like a regular hexagon, means everything's equal. Find the length of a side. So that means 4x plus 3 has to equal 5x minus 1. Those are equal things. This is a regular shape, which means those two sides are equal. 
So let's solve it and move the 4x over. So 3 equals 1x minus 1. Add the 1 over. So it looks like x is equal to 4. They didn't ask me for what x was, though. They said find the length of a side. So I'm going to take my 4 and I'm going to plug it in. So 5 times 4 is 20 minus 1. 19 is the length of my side. So a lot of the stuff you're going to be doing today is just reading the vocab. You're going to decide if things are equal, if it has equal sides, equal angles, and then you'll be able to set up a problem. Lots of stuff is just going to be equal to each other today.